So I'm not going to do daily anytime soon, but at least I'm picking up the camera again, which is great. But you might also notice that I do that with a change. And uh, one of those changes is that uh, I don't really care all too much about showing a pretty video, but instead just talking about something uh, like I did in the last video and just getting out some thoughts and figuring out where I am and what I'm doing at this point in time. And today I want to talk about a little bit um, about the things that I've been uh, consuming and that I've been reading, that I've been watching and what my thoughts are about that. So a couple of the biggest things that I've been consuming are books and uh, there was Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. I also read The Warrior Kid by Jocko Willink and uh, most recently it was Unfiltered by Lily Collins and I think just generally speaking reading has given me a different kind of insight. Uh, it's a different kind of pause to my day rather than consuming a video or other media to kind of like slow down because I I tend to be a very um, I tend to be a very slow reader and it's super annoying to me but the last few weeks especially I kind of like understood again that taking the time to actually do that is probably a good thing and also to allow myself to not be hyper productive because if I listen to podcasts or I listen to YouTube videos even, I usually do that at multiple the speed that I can uh, understand, but still watch it much faster. So it's like I, I only take half the time to watch a TED talk or something like that. And I still do that and still prefer that over watching it in normal speed because I feel bored when I don't. But then it was a really good thing. It's almost like a meditative practice to go back to reading where my own reading speed is determined by how fast I can read. And of course there's techniques to study, to kind of like read even faster, but that's not the point at this moment. I can consume content faster if I watch YouTube videos or something, but I want to be reading as a relaxation technique, uh, as well as the information that I'm consuming. And talking about the different books, I think I, I probably will make specific videos about those, but the main point that I wanted to bring those up is that a lot of the time I feel um, it's it's really hard for me to actually step outside of my comfort zone and make a video about that and, and share my thoughts, especially when I'm in that uh, place where I'm not sharing regularly and I have to work myself up again to that point where I feel adequate adequate enough to one um, feel like I, I, I am okay sharing my thoughts uh, feel like I, I'm not going to be completely destroyed by sharing my opinion and, and others attacking me or something and that's always something that's on my mind for some reason that I'm I have yet to uncover and then there's the place of quality that I mentioned in the last video as well where it's like do I film this on my phone do I film this with my podcast setup uh, what about the microphone what about the video quality do I have to do some b-roll shots and like show the book or show the scenery in which I'm filming and, and all that kind of stuff and then edit and the work that goes into all of that is so much more than just uh, doing the actual recording and having a couple of thoughts and so that's something that I've been um, kind of like working with and, and trying to find my own personal way around to figure out how I want to share my information and detaching myself from how I think things should look like. Um, it's very easy to look at the uh, I don't know, Peter McKinnon, um, Casey Neistat or Gary Vaynerchuk and think that their style of making videos, their creativity, their way of showing something is the be all end all. And at the end of the day, we can do whatever we want and I can certainly do whatever I want. And if I want to not show any cinematic shots and put music or something like that, I should probably just do that. So. I am um, still very much interested and I am still here to share, but the style's changing and I'm more and more finding a core 
as to who I uh, who I want to be and who I am, what I want to present to the world rather than what I see other people do. And I think that that's a really powerful thing and I think a lot of meditation, a lot of reading has come into that and, and uh, a couple of years of self-discovery. And with that, there's another thing that, that recently came to my mind was that I watched a video about astral projection, basically lucid dreaming, uh, as far as I understand it at least. And the funny thing about that topic of lucid dreaming and astral projection is that for me it was always a little hard to grasp and, and actually um, find a way to get there. And then it kind of like mixed all together with this uh, trend that more and more people are advertising for get up early, get up at 4 or 5 a.m. and stuff like that. And the interesting thing is that the technique that I recently heard about to try and go into lucid dreaming more, which is a super interesting tool to figure things out and, and experience and, and kind of like go through scenarios of what I want to be doing, like dream state exploration. And the technique that I just now heard about was, uh, I think they called it uh, wake up and go back to sleep method. And that's something that I've been using where in the morning I wake up and then maybe I go to the bathroom and, and just drink a little bit. But then I go back and I just lay back down and there's a really interesting moment there where it's almost like a daydreaming daze where for an hour or even one and a half hours I'm kind of like in and out of a dream state which I can observe much much closer than when I'm like the dreams that I have at four in the morning or at two in the morning and for me that happens much more right now when I wake up naturally which is around seven or eight a.m and then one or two hours after that like that's the window where then I have those daydreaming um, explorations which are incredibly powerful and and have shown me a great deal of insights that have kind of like motivated me to where I want to be doing other things again how I can view myself in six months or something like that where I can find understanding of how I might do things differently now than compared to a couple of weeks ago so those are my explorations for today with this beautiful walk around the lake that I do so often right now. As I've mentioned on the podcast, I've been walking so much more, probably more than I've ever walked in the last eight years. And uh, it's been great. But for now, I'm gonna head back and share more thoughts in the near future. Ciao, ciao.